Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, sorry, my glasses are so dark. I just came in from Mount Side, and uh, they should lighten up here in a minute. Um, this week, I thought I'd talk a little bit about our tube stations. And I thought, well, how am I going to... What's tube stations got to do with networking? Well, number one, they're on the network. So here's one right here. So there's the tube. These guys will draw blood. They'll put the samples in the tube. They'll set it here in the this doohickey right here. I don't know what it's called. Hit the button, standard sin, and off it goes to the lab. But, uh, and sorry, it's kind of noisy in there. But what's that got to do with the networking? Well, like I said, it's on the network. And you may have heard... Um, talk about the Internet of Things. Well, that's one of the things that's on the Internet of Things. Um, so it's not, it's not a computer, per se. I mean, it's, it obviously is a computer, but it's not a computer people use other than to press one button. Um, but it's just one of the things that are out there. And so, there you go, that's the tie-in. <laughs> It's one of the Internet of Things. But what I'm going to do is uh, show you where that thing goes um, and what it all looks like. So I'm going to go across over here through the buffeteria. There's the buffet right there. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, we're going to walk over here. I can keep talking until we get to the uh, main hospital and then I have to put you on ignore for a minute while we walk past the patients. So, uh, yeah, so that's just, that's one of the many things that hangs off the network. Um, not just computers, not just routers and switches. So let me put you on pause for a minute and uh, I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, here we are literally one second later in the uh, basement of the main hospital. So you see this big uh, pipe up here? That's actually the uh, tube that the tube stations send the uh, canisters through. And then you get up here, there's more of them. That's how they redirect airflow. I'm sorry, I don't know how too much about how all that works, but uh, that's how all the tubes get cross-fed and the air gets sucked around and all that good stuff. Now, these bad boys up here, those are called gates. And tubes will come in, this tube here, and this gate, it can go one of two ways, through one of the other of those tubes right there. You'll notice something else. Is that white cable? going into the tube up there somewhere, the gate up there. That's another network cable. This is another one of the things that's on the internet right here. Another one right over here. So again, internet of things. Those are networked um, so that the, the server can talk to these guys and tell them which tube they wanted to go through. You know, this crap is just... <laughs> it's complicated as all get out. So uh, don't ask me too much about it. I'm just showing you what it looks like. So more tube station stuff. More tube station stuff is more, more and more stations kind of uh, join in here. It gets more and more complex, as you can see. And now we got a couple more gates here. On there. Access point, another gate. And now I'm going to go over and show you where these guys all go. So hang on. All right, here we are in the lab. Again. This is where all those tube stations terminate. So here they come in up there, those four tubes. And everything terminates here. 
So all the samples that they, they uh, collect across the, the hospital are all gonna come in here. Again, these are all uh, networked and um, they're, all, they're all managed um, by our server over in the data center. Um, that's why we have a, um, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> Everybody's staring at me, wondering what I'm talking to myself. Um, that's why in our segmentation firewall and in our core network, we have a VR, uh, we have different VRFs. Um, one of which is the IoT VRF for the Internet of Things. And that's how we protect, protect this kind of stuff. The tube stations, the gates, the HVAC mixing valves, the, all this other stuff that's, that's on our network that we want to protect from, uh, um, not really hackers, malicious, just malicious traffic of any kind, you know, so. Um, that's why Internet of Things is becoming more important, uh, more and more important because more and more things are becoming networked and that puts them at higher and higher risk of getting attacked by whomever out there. So, sorry this is kind of such a rambling video, but I'm out, <laughs> I'm out here with real people and they distract me and I forget what I'm going to say. And uh, none of this stuff is scripted. This is all off the cuff if you can't tell. So anyway, that's where it all goes. This is our lab building, pathology lab. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's basically our tube system in a nutshell. I'm gonna try to gather my thoughts here and get myself back together. <laughs> all the distractions out there. So anyway, that's a short video, but I hope you like the, uh, the introduction. Uh, to our tube system and what it's all about and what we use it for. Um, like I said, it's I showed you one tube station, but back there in the main hospital, oh, there's probably like uh, 10, 15 tube stations and another five out in the clinics. So, uh, yeah, it's a very important part of the hospital because otherwise you'd have to have people running those samples over here to the lab. And, uh, you know, that takes all kinds of uh, manpower. And it's like, since it's on demand, you don't know when you're gonna do it. Um, you wouldn't wanna just wait and say, okay, we're gonna take a bunch of samples over now, and then in another two hours, we'll take another bunch of samples over. Because sometimes you just can't wait. People can't wait that long. They need, to, they need instant results, or results as fast as they can get them anyway. So that's hence the need for the tube stations. And the tube system. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's right about the time things start happening here at the hospital. So sorry for all the noise and distractions, but uh, it is what it is. So next I'm going to go uh, try to work on a fiber problem I'm having. Uh, one, uh, one fiber link of a switch keeps falling offline due to CRC errors. And I'm going to go see if I can take care of those CRC errors. So and I'll probably do a video on that and you'll see that next time. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you want. And uh, we'll see you guys all next week. God bless. Uh,